Hi, Liam here from Artum Consultancy. And in today's YouTube Revealed video, I wanted to talk to you about writing an effective description for your video. Now, you can use this method for any video sharing site, but I'm talking more specifically about YouTube today. So, how do you write that effective description? Well, the first thing you need to do is put the URL that you want the viewer to go to after watching the video. So, that could be your site, your website as an example, or your blog. Something very important here, when you do put the URL, make sure at the beginning you put HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash just like this. The reason you need that HTTP there is to make the link clickable. If you don't use it, the link will not be clickable. Okay? So underneath the URL, the next thing you need to do is describe the video, of course. Now, at Artem Consultancy, we suggest that you make that description very clear and to the point. People want to know what they're going to see when they press that play button. If you go on too long, they might get bored and just go on to the next video. So do make sure that you give a clear, concise and to the point description. After that, you then want to tell people to take an action. Now you can do this action verbally within the video itself, which we would always suggest, but also make it in the description. So this is the action you want people to do. You want to ask people to like your video on Facebook, tweet about it on Twitter and share it on other social media. Underneath that, you then need to say the thank you message. Now you can be very simple, you can just say thank you, Leon, or thank you very much for supporting us, but you must have that thank you message there. Underneath the thank you message, place the URL that you want the viewer to go to again, remembering that HTTP so it's clickable. Now here's a little secret. Underneath that URL, or your URL if you want, put the full URL for the YouTube video. Why? You're on YouTube, right? Well, the thing is, when people share that video, sometimes the description goes with it. Okay? And when the description goes with it, it will show the YouTube URL. And of course, if people click on it, that's an extra view for your YouTube video, which is always a plus. Okay, so let's just go through those things one more time for you. Top of your description, your own URL or where you want the viewer to go to. Remembering that HTTP so it's clickable. Underneath that, put the main description, make it very clear, concise and to the point so people know what they're going to see when they press play. Then tell people to take an action, to like your video on Facebook, to tweet about it on Twitter and share it on other social media. Then say thank you. Thank people for watching the video. That's very important. Then your URL or the URL that you want the viewer to go to. Again, using the HTTP. Finally, underneath that URL, put the full YouTube URL there. Now, actually, I didn't say this before, but of course, you can't get that YouTube URL until you've uploaded your video, bear in mind, okay? But just go back in and edit again and put that YouTube URL there. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video and yes, I'm going to tell you to take an action. Please like this video on Facebook, tweet about it on Twitter and share it through other social media. And we'll see you in the next video.